Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Rahim. When we mentioned last night the mirror at the highest level of ihsan, at the highest level of realities is La ilaha illallah reflecting to the other mirror of Muhammadun Rasulullah and the door for its understanding is that I'm non-existent. So that I'm not looking in between this lam alif and trying to appear. If I appear and I look at La illallah then everything is about searching myself. That's why when they read Qur'an they think of everything about themselves, how Allah is talking to them, how Allah is guiding them. This one level of understanding, this level of marifa is doors that you are non-existent. That, Ya Rabbi I'm an oppressor to myself and I'm non-existent, I don't want to exist so I'm merely a spectator looking invisibly of this reality of La illallah. If I'm not there then the La illallah is reflecting Muhammadun Rasulullah And if I'm not there and I look at Muhammadun Rasulullah it's reflecting La illallah. So the problem is me, it's the me in the middle that I'm trying to get rid of. And that's why then they teach us clean, clean, clean. As much as you can clean to make yourself and rid yourself of yourself of bad character, bad desires, what I want and what I, 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 everything of what I want is not important, my character is to be good and I become clear and transparent inshaAllah and I begin to understand this mirror and its reflection in all its reality. And they begin to teach us that in every way of marifa is a higher level of knowing. When we say, Asmullah, Allah, don't think that you know Allah now because you're saying a name. In this way of marifa anything you draw near to with your heart and trying to seek its understanding and seek its knowledges, as soon as you move towards this kalima alif, lam, lam, hey, we say hey because no, it's not the ha of, of hayat, it's of who. So when we're moving towards this hey, they begin to teach that as soon as you move near this name Ismullah, the alif is always separate, alif has no shariq. It don't attach itself to anything. So as soon as you want to know about Allah the alif moves and teaches you that you're not going to know about me, not that easy. What's left is lam, lam, hey. Lam closest to the Allah has to do with the tongue and the tongue is what speaks and brings that which is hidden to be known. That's why Mawlana Shaykh would teach that the lamb is a mulk, is a creation, it brings creation. How? Because what hidden from Allah's will as soon as it manifests on the tongue of realities it appears. So this creation closest to the alif is the heaven, malakut, the meme of malakut, the realities of malakut. Alif, lamb, that lamb closest to the alif is heaven. The lamb closest to the hay is the mulk and the creation of all the world of form, what they call the mulk. The creation of mulk is everything that is visible. Malakut, that which you don't see. But kulli shay, it's the power of everything, like the atomic reality for us to understand in our sciences. 
Oh, I'm here but you didn't really see me. Really? You just saw some guy with a beard and some clothes. But if you put me under a microscope, that's my reality. That's the reality that nobody feeds. Nobody can deal and destroy that energy. That's my energy reality. That's malakut. Higher than that is then in the heavens that which you don't understand and which we don't comprehend. The he is the guide, is the who. Means that Allah doesn't care for this creation of heavens and earth more than the wing of a mosquito. Hadith of Prophet Allah does not care for creation like for it is the wing of a mosquito. Allah is not impressed by the heaven and He's not in need of the mulk. It's beyond anything that we can understand. So then tariqah comes to teach these two are like the nukht because Allah has no caring for it. So they don't care for dunya and they're not hoping for a paradise reality like Disneyland, I want to go to the most popular paradise, I want this and this in paradise and I, I want rivers and streams and, and all the, of these things. Awliyaullah come and teach us, Allah doesn't care for them so you don't care for them, they have like a nukht, two nukht. So this alif is Izzatullah but what Allah does care for is that hay at the end. The hay at the end is the huwa, is the hadi and the guide of hidayat to all these realities to go through the lamb of dunya and mulk who is the king of this entire world of form, Muhammadun Rasulullah Sultan. Who is the king of all malakut? When Sayyidina Muhammad was teaching on Hadith al -Jab Jabr, I'm the first thing Allah created before Adam was between clay and water. Jabr, I am the Rasulullah, eternal position of the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad So the two lambs Allah doesn't care for, we put two nukht, two dots. The alif and the hay. So the alif is sending all its tajallis to that hay. Allah sending izza and might to his hadi. So then the Divinely face that everything will perish, that all these lambs will perish except waja Allah, the Divinely face of Allah Everything perishes but His holy face. So when they understood everything will perish, they don't attach to dunya, they're not asking for a dunya reality. And when they found that Allah will everything will perish, the angels will perish, the heavens will perish, Baytul Mahmur, everything will perish except the Divinely face. Then they asked, Ya Rabbi, all we want is the Divinely face. We want that which never perishes and there are seven essences that dress that alif. That is Arsh rahman that is the reality of the Divinely Throne. That in dunya eh, these seven points they're like a tree, like a chair. The face and the chair have the same attribute. The chair is a position of authority because your chair has four legs and two arms and the seat is like a tongue, like a L, like a lamb. So the face is the chair of the Divinely Presence. There's no chair but Allah speaks in similitudes. <coughs> to give you an example because we don't know from that reality, 
So it describes that in your world of form you know kings and the authority of a king is his throne. So the kursi, the throne is a symbol of authority and power and its real reality is the holy face. That holy face has seven openings, has two ears, two eyes, two nostrils and one tongue. That Divinely face that has no face but are attributes and essences that dress the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad that is Allah's kursi. Wasi kursi hu. That is the throne and the arsh of Ar-Rahman. It's the Divinely face of Allah that has no face but are seven holy attributes. They dress the world that has a face which is the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's the alif shooting its seven attributes to the hu of Allah Because the two lambs, their nukh, they're insignificant. Allah reflect from His izza and His might reflecting to the hu and hidayat and guidance that these seven attributes are dressing your hu. From the unknown who of Allah it dresses the manifest known of the who of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's what Allah meant by, Qul who. These are not about me and you, this is about Allah's ancient speech, Al Allah being the one speaking, who being the one spoken to. There's two in this sentence, Qul who? Qul to who? The one speaking as the might of Allah Qul. The one spoken to who? Izzat of Allah dresses that who? From that power and that reality Allah of these seven attributes, and essences, not even attributes, essences of the who. The name Allah is a understanding of all the names and attributes. Above that reality is the reality of who. Beyond the understanding of names and attributes is a pure energy. And when they breathe and do the zikr of who, they don't mention any other name that brings their energy to a lower level. So a very high level of energy and reality. That who is what dressing and blessing that reality, giving it its might and its power. These essences dressing the who. Sami al Basir, Alim al Qadir, al Nur al Hai. Al Muqtar, Muqtadir. These powers that dressing and essences, these are seven Divinely flames and essences that insan doesn't reach to but they reflect to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad holy face. And that describes that reality, that neither sleep nor slumber overtakes him. Who? Allah describing the reality of the holy face. The where Allah dressed of might and majesty that this holy face and its power 
its attributes and essences that been given by Allah Sami al-Basir adheres to the perfection of all creation and it's called Yaseen because it hears complete with yaqeen. As a result there is no Prophet, the one whom hears the most speaks for the Divine because the Sami is at 100% perfection. Lesser perfection never speaks. The greater perfection speaks. Sifat al sami of Sayyidina Ya Seen, the one whom has yaqeen of the seen, that he speaks وسلم, for all of creation. Not a prophet and not an angel can reach to this maqam of Sayyidina Muhammad all far below, not even anything comparable. Al-Basir the one whom sees in complete perfection his Lord at the station of Qawba Qawsayni O Adana. Not from far but Allah give a ihtiram and a respect that his two bow lengths or near. Nobody goes in the place of O Adana. Why Allah put this ihtiram throughout Qur'an Allah put these immense like a contract. When you read a contract and you find a clause that sort of locks the whole contract, that he's at two bow lengths. If he didn't put all adna you would say, well then there's an angel in between them. So he's not really that one. And Allah would just say, no you're incorrect, O adna or closer. There's nothing that can come between the reality of La illallah to Muhammadun Rasulullah nothing. There's no intercessor, there's no station, anything outside of that become burnt and non-existent. That's why Sayyidina Jibra'il said, I can't go to the maqam that you're going to. This audience that Allah has called your physicality is only for you because this is your reality. If I go to that with you, I become non-existent. I cannot enter beyond the ocean of Muhammad Rasulullah to look at the reality of La illallah. Sayyidina Jibra'i becomes non-existent at that point. As-Sami al-Basir means that nobody sees from Qawba Qawsaini or Adna except Sayyidina Muhammad That's why we don't have Wahdatul Wujud. We have wahdat al shuhud that you're allowed to enter with your soul into the soul and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And from this qalb and its reality it sees. And Ayat al kareem Ayat al Kursi is describing what he sees. That what he sees, he sees in perfection and nobody sees like that. If he's seeing Allah through as a might of Allah every creation is from his light. And that's why science understood that when you split the atom, the atom knows everything about every atom. But in this secret Allah says, the main atom knows every atom. But those atoms encompass nothing of his knowledge. So scientifically they could understand but Allah gave them also another clue. The originating atom, man the ladi yashfahu, that nobody can intercede except and nobody has the knowledge of what he encompasses, nobody encompasses the knowledge of what he encompasses. That through his sight because of what he sees through Allah Allah's izah and might is giving all the power of everything coming from His light. It's all created from Muhammadun Rasulullah Every particle in existence is in the light of Prophet It's not something our physicality can understand but it's because it is Him He sees through it all and everything is from Him and He's in everything, minhi wa minhum. It's all from me and I see through it, it all. 
He sees through the atoms of your wall, He sees through the atom of your cup, He sees through the atom of every air and particle and breath, He sees everything. It's from Him. How could something from somebody and science knows it and, you, and not be understanding of it? And this is what Allah meant, that He doesn't sleep, He doesn't pass out, these are the realities of the soul and He's ever vigilant over everything that His light has been, everything made from His holy light, all made in truth, all made from that reality and He's ever vigilant over it because it's from Muhammadun Rasulullah and none encompass from it its knowledge except what He allowed. None can intercede for it without His permission. It's His light, how can you intercede or claim to have an intercession if Sayyidina Muhammad is not permitting you? It means all of these realities, their teaching and just the simple alif, lam, lam, hay, izzatullah is shining seven attributes, seven essences onto the hay and the who of Sayyidina Muhammad the Hadi and Hidayat. Nashbandiya out of 124,000 awliyaullah they have 7,007 awliya that are always under the authority of Mawlana Shah Naqshban and that they're always present on earth and they don't even have to know each other or know themselves and some are from jinn and ins, not all human. Many from the jinn murids and 7,007 because they're dressed from the realities of these seven. They're dressed from Wajik al Kareem, the holy face of Sayyidina Muhammad dressing to their face. Because at 1001, one of Allah two nukht for the two creations mean nothing, reflects to the oneness of His Hadi. This is the highest one. That, ref that reality reflects to the 7,007 because they're no longer ones, they're sevens. They carry the power of the seven attributes of Prophet's holy face and those seven attributes are being dressed upon their hidayat and their guidance. And their seven holy openings are dressed by the openings of Sayyidina Muhammad Means we pray in these holy months that Allah give us a dress, give us an understanding to reach towards these realities. These realities have to be written and not recorded. We already record everything. You have to write with your hand and your finger, not record, it doesn't do anything for you. We spent 25 years in this path, those whom recorded they gained absolutely nothing from its understanding. Those who wrote they became custodians of the reality because what they write it will be burned into their heart as the holy scribes of the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. What they write will be burned into their heart and written upon their kitab, not written upon apple. You're not trying to glorify your iPhone but if you don't have an ihtiram and don't care for the reality you're not a scribe, you can think you understand it all, it doesn't make a difference for them. But this way is to understand that these haqqaiqs and reality of Sayyidina Muhammad are never to drop the floor. These are realities that are un unimaginable in the power to the soul, what they take from it they grab, as soon as they write it, it'd be written into their kitab. So that the angels that actually had to write what they wrote, their stations change. Because the angel who only writes your bad deeds, what kind of… that's a small level angel. But the angel that writing all the haqqaiqs of Sayyidina Muhammad the angel knows its weight. Alam bil qalam, the angel knows what type of weight those realities have and that's when Allah Alam bil qalam. 
that I taught them by the reality of that pen, the angel is changing, the angel is becoming dressed by its realities, the soul is being dressed by its realities. As a result, it's a paradise soul walking on this earth. As a result, all their food, all their sustenance, all their rizq, everything is under heavenly command, not dunya. This one whom from paradise and the sultanates of paradise is walking the earth. And every food and drink and sustenance and reality is flowing to them through the sultanate of Sayyidina Muhammad So tashrif and ihtiram that they would show us in all their movies that if the seal of the king Remember we taught this 10 years ago, if the seal of the king would enter into a city they would all be bowed down because this seal of the kingdom was walking and moving into the area. They would show respect and these movies used to teach people how to respect. Why? Because they respected the king. You didn't need the presence of the king. You needed to just have a ihtiram just for anything from the king. Anything from the kingdom they were incomplete. Just the seal of the kingdom would move through the city and everybody was in complete obedience. Imagine if the king comes. So means then these teachings are to prepare us for that reality. If a reality is coming from the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad and it came and went through your ear with absolutely no benefit then pity upon you for you did nothing with it. And we have friends that they were doing 25 years of Shaykh Nazim Sobat on cassette recorders. Where is that now? Did you ever think cassette recorders were going to finish? They had cassettes and cassettes and cassettes, cassettes and cassettes and I always go, God what are we going to do? And I said like if, if we want to remember one thing. How are we going to find it in all these 50 cassettes you have? Because they were coming and trying to teach us tariqah at the beginning. Oh I have all these cassettes from London, Shaykh Nazim talked on this, talked on this. You could spend hours trying to find which talk on this cassette was what he did. But no we were trained differently, have a book, right? Because you know in each book this was this year, this was Ramadan, this was this and this was that reality. I can pull my book, flip through it and say this is what Mawlana Shaykh was teaching. And because I wrote it, Allah burned it into the heart. But if I heard it on my iPhone, well that has nothing to do with it. Allah didn't say, Alam bil iPhone into your ear. <laughs> we pray Allah give us more and more opening and understanding. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon, salaamun al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, wa hurmati Muhammad bin Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Alam bil iPhone. Inshallah bin yata khatme khawjgan. Especially these subjects, see, nobody's going to remember this. The alif and lam, lam, and say, what was the hey, what was the who? What's the lam? Who's the lam? What is the lam? And every lam has a lam alif meem. How many times we said that? But if you contemplate, yeah. astonishing. Every tongue it opens because lamb opens to lamb alif meem. Again, you see Sayyidina Muhammad there. You see the lisan of reality and Allah is Muhammad An infinite, infinite, infinite. Means for every creation, the reality of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah must be there. That is the formula of bringing creation into existence. Allah sends an izzah and a might and hit and becomes a creation. So where's Laylatul Qadr? We'll talk later inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, 
and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.